Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, make a remux of a uh, Blu-ray. So I'm going to be using this uh, program here, EAC3TO. But in order to use that, we're going to need to install a few of these things right here. So I'm going to install the decoder pack. It's pretty easy. Just click next, next, next. But there is one option that you can change, which is one of the versions, as you can see right here. You can download all these online for free. Then I'm going to install the splitter. Then I'm going to install the MKV tool. This is uh, MKV merge. Okay, now that we've installed them, what you want to do is make a folder, call it Remux or whatever you want to call it. You want to have your movie as well ready. Um, as you can see, my movie is in this format. If you have an ISO, you can also, uh, you can always um, extract it, and you'll have these. Um, if you've got the disc, you'll have to um, take it off the disc. You can use a program called Any DVD, I think it is. Anyway, what you want to do is get CMD, copy it into the folder. You just right click uh, the CMD, copy, and then paste, and it will show up here. The reason why I've done that is because when you start the CMD, it's going to be automatically located within the folder. So I don't need to put the save locations of each file that I'm going to be demuxing from the movie. So I'm just going to maximize this so we can see it a bit better. Okay, so going to the EAC3TO folder. I'm not sure how you say that, so I'm just going to have to say that every single time then uh, find the exe this one right here then drag and drop that into the cmd then hit the spacebar do minus test this is just to check that everything has been installed and everything is working fine and we can start demuxing the movie this may take a little while Okay, so everything is fine, everything is working. I'm going to press the up arrow key so it retypes everything out. Then I'm going to get rid of test. I'm going to leave the space and then I'm going to drag and drop this folder right here, the BDMV folder, into the command prompt. Then I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so it scanned it and it's showing us the playlists so we just check the runtime as you can see right here the number one is one hour and 30 minutes one hour and 34 to be exact and number two is about 20. so what i'm going to do is hit up so it retypes it all out then i'm going to hit spacebar then i'm going to type in one because that's the main movie I want the main movie. If you want the extras and stuff like that, you can always choose number two or three or whatever you want. Then I'm going to hit close brackets. And then I'm going to hit enter. So here we are again. It's telling us what is actually, what is actually inside of that playlist. So 
I'm going to hit up, then I'm going to hit spacebar, and now I'm going to choose what I want from this playlist. So I want the main movie, of course, so I'm going to hit 2, colon, then I'm going to type out the name that I want to give that video. Um, for this example, I'm just going to type in video, but, um, well, video.mkv. You can also, at this point, you can change the location of where you want that to be saved. So I'm going to go back to the V, just before the V, and uh, I can put in any location that I want. So as you can see, if I put this in, it will change the location, the save location, to C, users, and then it will put it within that folder, users. But I don't want that. I, I, ju I just want to put it into the default location, which is where I told you to put the command prompt, where you pasted it in, because that is the default location. Now, if I just hit enter at this point in command prompt, it will just generate the video. So it's got no audio or anything like that. So I need to tell it to uh, also decode the audio. If you have a look at the audio, you can see that um, there is quite a few of them. There is number three all the way down to 13. Uh, but I want the English audio. But I can also see that there is two English audio, one which is number three, and then one which is number 13. And because I can see that uh, number three is of a, uh, of a higher quality, I'm going to guess that that is the main audio of the movie, and number 13 is going to be the commentary. But I want both of them, so I'm going to type in three, colon, space, audio dot d t s hit spacebar again 13 colon space commentary and now this time I'm going to put dot a c free because the commentary audio that is in the, in the movie is in a c free format and not in DTS. Now, the main movie audio, and not the commentary one, the other one, the one that is number three, that is in a DTS master audio. Now, if that was in DTS HD master audio, I won't put DTS. I would put FLAC. That is a lossless audio and the best quality. But doing a lossless um, audio for this one would be a waste. It's unnecessary. <laughs> now, I also want some subtitles. So I'm going to um, type in the subtitles. Um, I want the English one, of course. So I'm going to type in 14 colon space ENG sub dot sup S U P. Now, I also want a uh, another audio. I'm going to take out the French audio and the French audio is number 16 so I type in 16 colon space French sub dot s u p now again I can change the location of each of each of these ones by just putting the location after the colon, after the space, after the colon. Uh, but I just want them all in the default location in my Remux folder. So now that I've got everything that I want out of this, what uh, actually I will take out the chapters as well. One.
to number one colon space chapters dot text now we're going to hit uh, enter and it will start demuxing all of the files that we've re requested this is going to take a little while so I'm going to come back and we'll continue the video once it's finished hey guys so the um, the program is finished the files have demuxed they're all inside of our folder as you can see we have a log that just says everything that's happened within uh, command prompt the last lines starting from here all the way down to the bottom and when this finishes it will play a sound it will tell you down here that it's done it will tell you how long it's taken now it's taken quite a while on this machine because it's on a virtual machine I don't give the virtual machine much of my um, power because I'm using it on my main machine um, so it's not going to take as long on yours machines as long as you've got a decent one but even so you know 43 minutes it's, it's quite a while but not too long for a remux I mean normally it should be done in about 20 ish um, maybe less <laughs> all depends on your PC um, so we've got our files and we need to put them into an MKV ready to, ready to uh, be played so we're done with command prompt now we can close that down we're done with the movie we can close that down but uh, we're going to need this open up so select all the files that you need we don't need the log we don't need the uh, we don't need the CMD we don't need the chapters not yet anyway and we don't need the folder so right now we need to open up MKV merge or MKV tools and then we just want to drag and drop all the files into here I'm going to choose as a uh, new input and here we're going to edit the settings of our MKV we'll sort out the chapters a bit later on so I don't want to have any of the subtitles to come on automatically and I want to give them the appropriate language this one's the French this one's English make sure that forced is uh, on no as well unless the movie is not in English and you've got English subs so it will come on automatically I want the um, default track checked so they will come on automatically select the language again for the video actually don't exactly need one but I'm gonna say I put it in English because it is an English film the audio English commentary commentary <laughs> in English as well and give it a name and as for the name you should always put it like that if that is the correct sentence um, you can easily find that out by just looking at the settings um, this is how most people put it and it seems to work normally people put a name at the end uh, the group that they're in and people will often see the group and realize the quality that they produce um, I'm not a part of any group or anything like that you know I don't really release these um, 
mostly for myself. So that's how you do it. I'm also going to put that name in the movie. Track name. And as the file title. And then we just click start muxing and it will add all the tracks together. There, there are some other options that you can do in here but most of the time I just leave mine as it is. When you click start muxing it will start muxing the file together. Again this is going to take some time. I'll see you when it's done. Hey guys and uh, we are back once again. This time we're going to put the chapters in. So go to the chapters file, click and drag into the edit chapters tab within uh, MKV tool. And then go up to chapter editor, down to save. and then go to the file there it is <laughs> I was looking for the icon but it's not a cell black on this PC and that's it it's got the chapters now inside of that file as you can see we are now done we now have the file the movie I would be able to play this but uh, I'm not going to um, you can test it out for yourself that's it thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe check out my other videos they're all to do with stuff like this torrents um, I do plan to start making more videos again. Um, life has been a bit hectic at the minute, um, so I haven't been able to release many. I hope you liked the video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. If you have any problems, post it down in the comments um, what exactly has gone wrong. I'll try and help you guys out. And if you're having problems finding these files, let me know. I may post links in the description if that's the case. Um, have a good one. See you next time.